smokes on the half shell. However you like them, oysters are a part of life here in New Orleans. Have you ever wondered where all these empty shells end up? Well, a group called the Coalition to Restore Coastal Louisiana, or CRCL, is aiming to make a difference by returning these shells to their natural home, the sea. It began a year ago, and in that time, we have worked with local New Orleans-based restaurants who have agreed to separate their oyster shell from the rest of their garbage. We then recycle that shell and are using it to help restore oyster reefs out on our coast. The idea is catching on. So we've got 25 restaurants currently participating in the program. We're currently at Pascal's Manali, one of our newer restaurants. But we've worked with Acme, Drago's, The Bourbon House, Luke, Pesh. Pretty much all of your favorite oyster restaurants at this point have signed on and, and are agreed, have agreed to participate in the program. The number of shells recycled is staggering. Larger restaurants like that can go through between two and 300 sacks a week. Um, and you're looking at uh, up to 100 oysters per sack. Almost all of the restaurants recognize that in order to maintain and be able to continue to serve oysters at your restaurant, there has to be something done to help maintain the oyster habitat in the long term. And these purple recycling bins are just the first stop in the oysters journey. Five times a week, they're shipped an hour and a half south to Buras, where they're piled up on the sands of the beach. The oyster pile that we have down in Buras is at this point about 900 tons and counting, which um, Standing on it is, is, is an incredible feat. Once the shell is collected, it does need to sit out and cure, which is pretty much bake out in the sun for six months. That allows any remaining food particles and maybe any bacteria to break down and decompose, and you're left with just a very nice, clean piece of shell. Um, and then once it's ready to go back in the water, uh, CRCL is going to work to engage volunteers to help rebuild the, the oyster reefs. Rebuilding the oyster reefs has a benefit far greater than just what you see on your plate. This is a, a, just another way that we can provide individuals with, a, I would say, a simple and delicious way to help in, uh, with restoring the coast, and that'll have long-term benefits to just protecting the city that everyone loves. The Coalition to Restore Coastal Louisiana is making a difference, not to just New Orleans, but the whole Gulf Coast. On your side, Charles Divens, WDSU News.